Hello. Hi, Debbie. Hello, Faye. Hi, everyone. We'll just wait for a few more um, people to join um, and then we'll get started. Just trying to see who's joining us. Say hello if you're, if you're joining us. I'm going to open the comments up. Hi, Julie. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Jane. Hello. Thanks for joining us. So we've got a, a, a busy hour in store. And um, I thought I'd just um, turn the camera this way um, before we start just to say hello to everyone. And um, thanks to Adam for having us on DAF. Um, we're Faye and Debbie from Twilight Crafts. And um, we've been running a crop for about how long, Debbie? 10, 12 years, something like that. Um, yeah, and 12 years in May. 12 years in May. So, yeah, we've, yeah a physical crop, face to face crop we've been running. And then during lockdown, um, we decided to launch a, a website. So, um, it's been brilliant to have everybody's support and, um, and particularly Adam from Dotty About Flair. So, we've got a special discount um, running until the 1st of February because we know some of you have got a bit of a January stash ban running with a few. Um, a few breaks to the rules, maybe, possibly. <laughs> so we, the rules. <laughs> there's always some exceptions to the rule. So we've got 10% um, discount on um, everything on our website running until the 1st of February. And you use the code DAF10 um, at the checkout. Hi, Kim. Hi, Jill. Hi, Rachel. <laughs> So I'm going to spin the camera around. I just wanted to say a quick hello. Yes, Steph, loopholes. <laughs> Definitely loopholes. And why not? Why not when it's cold and it's winter and you need plenty to keep you busy? Oh, it's lovely to see so many people joining us. It's absolutely brilliant. So we are going to um, be sharing some stuff about Jenny Wren cut files. Deb's going to share a little bit on that. And then I've got these lovely Dina Wakely mixed media gloss sprays in all the colours of the rainbow. So I'll flip my camera around and we're going to do a little bit of a demo and then we're going to make some layouts. Oh, thanks, Sandy. Looking glam. That's <laughs> you do make me laugh. Ah, oh, lucky I know you well, Sandy. Thank you very much. Right, I'm going to flip this camera and then um, I think, Deb, you're going to show us a few. Is it going to flip? Here we go. No, you don't want to see my craft boxes. There we go. You want to see my desk. That's better. Right, Deb, I'm going to hand over to you. You're going to show some um, cut files. I am. Oh, These are newly broke a stash bad. <laughs> yeah. Hi, oh. Kelly. Uh, oh, Sandy was being serious. Thank you, Sandy. I should take the compliment. <laughs> right. I'll I'll um I'll make your screen a bit bigger, Deb, so we can see. Okay. So this is um a color wheel one, and I've made this one as a cutout, so you can back it from the rear, um, rather than cutting out. Um, so that's something different that I'm going to try. And see how that works out. Um, I've been working on lots of backgrounds. So this is like a scallopy, I don't know, I'd call it a mermaid background, I suppose. Oh, yeah, no. Um, so that one would be quite nice for seaside things or anything else you can think yeah. of. Yeah. It kind um, of reminds me from like the scallops remind me a little bit of the bungalow lane papers. Yes. Um, I've made this one as a kind of little border. Sometimes I see really lovely layouts where they've got just a half semicircle. So I thought I'd try that. I've not had a chance to use it yet, but um, it's on my list of things to do. Love that. And um, a friend was saying about music and being able to go back to see concerts again. So um, I've made this one, which I'm not sure if you can see it very well, which is like a stave with music notes on. But I've also got on my list um, some other things to do, but just not enough time in the day. I love it. Yeah, we've we've seen people with their scrapbook layouts going back to theatres and um, yes. concerts and things. That's good. And I went to hairspray, so I thought that'd be a really good one to use. 
I love that. Yeah. Judy Stashban um, is okay because she did an order today, but it won't arrive till the 1st of Feb. So that still counts, oh, doesn't that's it? Really yeah. Cool. That's allowed. <laughs> so rainbows, you can't go wrong with rainbows, can you? Rainbows are just lovely, but this is a really big one. And I could use this as a shaker pocket because I've made the lines quite thick. Yes, for the foam tape, because you know how I get into a right mess trying to Absolutely. put foam tape on shaker pockets. So this one is a camera shutter. I like the camera shutter lens and I thought it would make a nice background. I've made a big one as well that I'm going to use for the live in a minute. Um, but I thought as a background, that's quite nice. Love that. Um, love a grid. I've not tried yes, one You've before. done quite a few backgrounds. They seem to be really yes. popular because you can use them in so many different ways. Yeah, lots of people said they'd like more backgrounds. So I've listened to comments and I've, I've done yeah, more backgrounds. Thing with backgrounds, I'm thinking we see on our design team used in so many different ways, stitched Absolutely. or drawn on or inked or oh, they've done some amazing things, haven't they? Yeah. Um, oh, Steph likes the grid. Love it. <laughs> um, this is a little star one because I thought it's just, yeah. Good for all those little children or grandchildren um, Absolutely. layouts. And um, this one, I'm not sure possibly you've seen this one before. But I thought it's good for um, people must still be scrapping New Year's if they actually celebrated or did anything. I think a lot more people did something this year, didn't they? Yeah, and you've also done one with year. the fingers crossed, haven't you? You've got the fingers yes. crossed for 2022, which I yes. like. Um, I've made a big, big chevron background. There's people are asking for backgrounds and I thought this could be quite nice, quite a nice one backed with lots yeah, of different bright colours. The arrows and the chevrons and the zigzag backgrounds really popular because you can you do a whole layout with, with just yeah. one whole cut file. And you just change the paper and it looks like a completely different cut file. There's so much you can do with them. That's my 2022. I don't know where my fingers crossed is. I may have done it on the last one because that's an earlier number, I think. Yeah. Um, people liked the butterfly um wreath so i thought i'd do a star one because yeah. you can't go wrong with stars can you and i do like the cut files that are in that circle because it just kind of frames it and then you just add your photo yeah. and the embellishments it's really good um i've got this one my first which i thought um with a new baby in the family covers lots of things like my first bath my first whatever it covers a lot of things ah and then so you I'm add your own yes yeah, so you just add your own title yeah, to the, absolutely to the file. and i've also got it with words but i think i i think i like the number i think i'm going to use the number one first um sorry i'm getting in a pickle here um read more because we all need to read more i can't read more i fall asleep deb <laughs> <laughs> does anybody else do that try and read read two pages fast asleep and it's it's like that if i also put a craft video on to watch i end up falling asleep it's just i don't know if anybody else watching is the same i cannot uh, keep my eyes open sofa snoozing we call it oh yeah i do loads of sofa love a snooze. sofa snooze so this one is two separate sets of triangles but i thought it either way they'd be quite nice as a as a background and people have said they'd like more backgrounds so yeah nice. two sets of triangles to play about with and <laughs> sandy wakes up with the kindle on her face i'm <laughs> glad it's not just me <laughs> well I, I, that's what i always do before i go to bed but yeah i do um this is one of my arrows ones which are new which yeah, i thought yeah. you know people are starting to go places now aren't they yeah let's hope where so. should we go and this is a travel one. Nice. Yeah, for all those all those um, spring and summer travels that hopefully Absolutely. we've got coming up. Let's hope. Um, got a picture wheel. And um, hi, Adam. Don't you worry. We, we're just sh we're talking through a few new cut files, and then we're getting on to the messy stuff. So uh, got a just in time. Color wheel. Um, then somebody asked me about engagement. So. Um, I've got she said yes, but I thought I, I am going to make a he said yes. Um, and one in a circle with a picture of an engagement ring. Love I thought it. just something a bit different. Yeah, Julie says she reads every night before she goes to bed. I um, 
I, I try to, but I, I like to say, if you get into a good book, Julie, you can read ch a chapter after chapter. I know Sandy reads every night as well, I think, on her Kindle, but I've never seemed to master the fact. I just, I just drop off to sleep. So this one is um, the camera shutter lens that I'm going to be using today. Um, if I get time, I've also got this one prepped. I think this is my new favourite. Oh, I'm um, using that tonight. I it's love called, it. I've called it a starburst heart, but yeah. I think it's quite, um, it's quite, I quite like it. I do like it. It's one of my favourites. Sandy, you can even read after you've had a few cocktails. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't do that. So this is another background one because that's what I haven't used this one yet, but this is one that I really want to try out. Yeah, the backgrounds are just so popular. And I have two more borders here. Gosh, I have been busy, haven't you I? You have. Very busy. Got two more borders, one with colour wheels and one with stars. Um because I like the idea of something along one side of a page or top or bottom, just to add something. I love it. Steph's getting tempted. They're, they're, some of these cut files are so lovely. They are. They um, are this beautiful. one I did for, um, obviously, with a new little one, First Family Christmas, which I thought was... I I've got them. so many Christmas photos to still scrap. I've just had a um, Snapfish photo order come today, so I've got loads for uh, debbie and i are going on a uh, weekend retreat scrapbook retreat next weekend with crop in the country so we can't wait just and the can't. stars um i've got it on the black just so you can see i don't know if you can see that i have backed them oh that's it you can see it, you can see it without the black that's it yes yeah. clearer yeah um i love this one but it's very very fiddly to cut and it's quite fiddly to fill in but it's i am beautiful. very pleased with this one and this is the last one i'm going to show you this is my favorite um inspired by paige evans it's a whole page of hearts cut out but this is what i've made with it oh yes you so you cut out on foam. so you cut out the hearts and then you use an identical piece of paper and stick them using this one as a template yeah. using this one as a template on top but I'm so pleased with the effect it gives you. And then you raise them all up. Yes, yeah. lovely. Yeah. So that's that's uh, all of my cut files. Sorry if I bored you. <laughs> oh, they're brilliant. No, um, and a couple of people are a bit late arriving. Don't worry, we're just. Um... Oh, who's that going to crop in the country? I can't see. I can't see the names on mine. Oh, Melanie. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, we are. We um, we're not packed yet. It's all of, we're not quite organised yet, but but we will um, we'll oh, get I'm organised in the next few days. So, right. So we're going to get on to some of these lovely sprays. So, um, let us know um if you're watching and you've used some of these, and I'm going to just show you a few little things before. I go on because I'm going to use these on a layout. So I've done some samples. Look at these. They're kind of like they're acrylic sprays, but they have a glossy finish. Can you see as it as it catches the light? So gorgeous. And you can use them like any spray paints. Um, if you get them on your fingers, it's difficult to get off. But I've done a whole range of different things. So I thought I'd show you just a few techniques and using this lovely stencil with some distress oxides on the top look at that and so it, i like it, how they get a kind of pooling effect don't they when you spray on top it kind of reacts with each other the yeah, colors yeah. And you yeah. get lovely effects so you've got the gloss and then you've got the matte of the oxide so i thought well let's just let's just have a little go and i the kind of like coordinating colors so i like a bit of ocean a bit of turquoise and a bit of magenta you could use lime as those sort of colorways are quite nice um i thought i'd show you a few just really quick and then we're going to get on to using them on a layout but i've got my oxides here coordinating oxides and um this is the card i've got is um super smooth 300 gsm 12 by 12 cardstock that i've just cut to six by six we, we sell this in the shop um um cheapest chips but it's really smooth and it is 
it's almost like the sort of quality of, of foundations paper, but a little bit cheaper if you're if you're using it um, on mixed media. So they've got a ball bearing in. So you give them a bit of a shape to get all the pigment going. And then you can just make a complete mess. Get ready. Oh, Kim, are you going to crop in the country as well? We can't wait. It's like the highlight of the year. So can you see it kind of, it pulls. I love it. I just can't get enough of these sprays. If you hold it further away, you get a fine mist. Can you see how it's starting to kind of um, model? And no gesso. If you can put a layer of gesso on the back if you want to. And it kind of just pulls even more because it resists the card. I'm going to see if I can hold that up. So that's one way. But another way that I quite like is you just take another piece of card and you get sort of a double double print. And then you've got two. So you've got one that's um, got a bit more white space. And then don't waste anything because these bits here, you have just this. So which piece did I have? This piece was just from all my leftover bits of paint. So you don't waste anything. And then you just lift all of these little bits off because you don't want to waste any of that. Look at that. Just pick all of that up here. And then as you do another, you just keep lifting. And then it kind of dries. Um, it dries with a shine. So I'm going to set those over to dry. But this, so you can die cut with those. This is, I did this on a 12 by 12 just to show you. This was with the lovely Fernwood stencils. And I probably wouldn't use that all in one piece. I'd probably cut that up. But you can kind of see the crazy mixed media technique that I get. that dark colour over the top. It's lovely. That is um, the night colour. It's lovely. It's lovely. Really, really effective, when it, isn't it? When it dries, even this bit here that really pulled, it's kind of dried almost like plastic. It's got a a shine you can see picking up on the camera. But I would probably um, cut this up. And then these pieces, for example, where you've got, um, say, this piece here, you can just take one of the lovely stencils. Now, I know Steph's watching. Steph's just ordered this one, and we saw your design team layout using this. This is a Carabelle Studio stencil. Yeah, night is my favourite, Sandy. It's just like that navy is just so nice. And then this is the beautiful Carabelle stencil, and you can kind of take a coordinating distress oxide. So you've got the gloss of the spray, and then you've got the matte of the oxide. And if you've seen um, Steph's lovely design team layout that was posted in the last couple of days, Steph used this stencil on the layout and it is just beautiful. That's gorgeous. <laughs> to create like a circle, an inked circle on the background of the scrapbook paper is just lovely. So I'm going to go all the way over with this is Peacock Feathers. <laughs> And these brushes are, are another of my faves. We've just got these in stock because they are great for stenciling, but they also give a very soft blended background. So then you've got just the oxides. So you see you've got the gloss and the matte. And with these, I probably turn it into something a bit like a Kate Crane style. So some of you saw that I did a live on um, the Twilight Crop and Craft group. And so some of this style of paper, I would add a bit of white doodling, add a bit of black, add, add a bit of depth to it. And then I would just turn it into a, a little card, a bit like a bit like that. Yeah. Oh, were you watching Dina Wakely earlier, Julie? Yeah. 
tip spray onto a gel plate. Oh. Yeah, and I also saw um, another demo where they were just using a bit of uh, water because it reacts quite nicely with water. So you can drip it onto the mat, spray with water, lift it off. But gel plate would be, I'd love to try it on the gel plate. Yeah, Kate Crane, um, who's uh, been a great support to us, did a live class for us. And I just love her style. And that is that is true Kate Crane style. So I'm going to turn some of those backgrounds into some cards and then I'll post those um, on our um, Twilight group. Right, so we better get going with some scrapping then. Let's, that's a little bit of demo and we're going to get going on some scrapping. Is anybody crafting along with us tonight? Anybody getting some messy with some mixed media or are you all just relaxing a bit, chilling out? Debbie, you've got some washi tapes ready, I see. I am. I'm doing a layout that is, um, I know lots of people said they've got loads of washi tape that they don't use. So this is a washi tape stash user upper. Yes. How, how I think when um, um, on the under the influence of Scrappy Adam group, when Steph did the daily show your stash, there were so many um, people who had boxes of washi tape. Who's well, got I don't know how much this will tape. use, but it'll certainly make a little dent into it. Yes. So, so I'm just you... covering the inserts from the cut file um, with different coloured washi tapes. I've, I've got a few I've made earlier, but I'm just going to do the green one now. I zoomed in a little bit, but I'll zoom back out because you can't, can't see. Okay, and I have got um, the lovely cut file that you showed, Debbie. Let me move it over. So I've got in a right mess with all that mixed media. Here we go. So I've got that lovely um, cut file. Ah, oh, Adam, you're flare making. You never stop. <laughs> Some of that lovely epoxy flare that I can't wait to try. It looks amazing. Oh, Kelly, you've got a two-year-old birthday party. Now, um, my my son was three at Christmas and I did cheat and I bought an electric blowing up machine. I know you won't want to hear that now. <laughs> You're sat there blowing up the loads. Mm. Oh, dear. But I I um, went back to the night spray. You'll like this one, Sandy. The, I, won't, I just can't get enough of this um, colour, this navy. And I've sprayed... Um, a bit of background and I'm going to use this to mount the cut file but I also found I don't know if anybody's seen this I'm going to just quickly share this color scheme so if you use the Fernwood collection so I'm using Fernwoods tonight Vicky Booten's Fernwood Vicky posted this lovely little guide to matching your distress inks and distress oxides so when i was thinking about what colors to use i've got peeled paint and chip sapphire so i thought ah brilliant i don't know if anybody else has seen that she matches the inks to her um collection so if you haven't seen that before that is definitely worth checking out right so i'm going to add a bit more ink to this See if I can get a bit of a better light. It's getting dark. Oh no, Kelly, you need <laughs> you need one. An electric pump. It was an absolute genius, this electric pump. When uh when we had to do ours, there's nothing worse, is there? You you get run out of puff. Definitely. So Adam's busy making lots of epoxy flare. It's been so good, the launch of the website. We're so, so excited for you. And I did, I did put a little order in, so I can't, I can't wait. Right, I'm going in with some peeled paint now. Let's move that over there. Peeled paint ink, distress ink.
So Debbie, your washi taping. This is a good technique to use up all that washi tape. Absolutely. Well, I'm not saying it'll dent it much, but um, <laughs> you've got you quite a guess. collection of washi tape. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Who else has got a collection of washi tape? Adam. We've seen your craft room on YouTube. I I don't think I've got as much as Steph. No, Steph had a quite a collection too, which was quite exciting. I'm just trying to position this heart because I want to get some of this green in. And I need to see. So I need to put it over <coughs> this way. Ah, so Melanie, this is um, the Fernwood stencils. So they come in a pack of three. And it's called greenery. And so you get the big fern, which is my favourite. And then you get the um, flowers. And then the sort of, what are they called? What would you call that? It's almost like knitting. Like a little chevron. It looks like knitting to me. Though. Little chevrons. And it's three for five ninety nine, which I, you can't beat Vicky, Vicky Booten's prices. And they're so, such good quality because they're really thick. They're really lovely. thick. Really thick. And you can see, I don't mind mine getting messy because I feel like if I've if I've got a messy stencil, then it was worth the money because I've used it a lot. I know I do soak them. I put them straight into water. But things like those Dina Wakeley sprays, they're quite pigmented. So it stained it a bit, but it's clean. <laughs> Washy, like a magic cooking pot. It never ends. <laughs> It doesn't matter how much you use it. You're like, why have I got so much washi left? But it's kind of like, I don't know, crafters kind of love stationery, don't they? I, most people, you know, I always love stationery. So they kind of just look nice. You don't even need to use them. You could just look at them. Absolutely. Oh, Steph, you're on the fence about epoxy stickers. I love them. I just, I can't wait. I have a little um, punch and some little stickers where I used to make some myself. And then when I saw that, yes, genius. I just well, I actually like... have done that this evening. Oh, I found little... that. I found that punch. Oh, it's cute. I just kind of got no time and I like all the designs. So I'm looking forward to um, getting some. Yeah, Steph, did you order some? Did you break the stash ban? Ah, oh, yeah, Adam, I saw, um, I'm sure you were doing a page where it was like sort of not a fan, but like random and col bright colours, I'm sure. This is just going to be used loads. I love it. So what I'm thinking now, I've done that, is I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to cut a heart so it backs the cut file like that. And Deb, you've done a... Um, that's Dina Waitley sprays on your background, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, I've um, tried to match. I'm going to colour match my washi vaguely to where I sprayed the colours. So they will be matching, kind of. I love it, Adam. She's she's having a set. She's going to she's going to be converted. I just love them. Can't wait. And I did treat myself to some of the lovely MK's embellishments because they are just beautiful. The little wooden, I think they were space, space characters. <clears throat> They're lovely. Yes, Seth, exactly. We had to try the website out. We had to road test the website. So <laughs> that was allowed. Right, I'm just cutting this out. Bear with. So we did get to do our crop this Saturday, which was lovely. The Saturday just gone. We had a whole day of crafting, but we just wish that some of the people we've met in the virtual world we could get together with, which some of us are in April. I know we're meeting Julie in April. But we do think there is some um, a need for us to have a bit of a crop that's more like in the middle somewhere because we're 
Bristol based in the south. Adam's a little bit further north. We've got people in the middle. I feel like if we all got together for a big crop, it would be quite a lot of fun, wouldn't it? Oh, more MK kits to come, Adam. <clears throat> I'm so glad you're stocking MK stuff. I was browsing her Etsy shop and it's like, I love it. So what do you think? Is that going to work? That's kind of like back to the cut file because I'm going with Fernwood papers today. So I've got the lovely... I'm doing some doggy pictures. So I've got the lovely Fernwood that I'm going to have a go with. I dropped stuff all over the floor. I thought I'd do some pictures of my little doggies. So I know, Adam, you've been scrapping lots of pictures of your dogs. Oh, monthly kit coming. Oh, good. Adam, that's brilliant. Because then that's so good that we can have that in the UK. Because I was looking at MK stuff and I love it. She did a she did a live for us over on Twilight for our 12 days of Christmas cybercrop, and it was amazing. She's so lovely. Right, just quickly gluing this down. Yeah, um, Retty, I think we should have a whole weekend crop, but we're thinking it would be good if it was somewhere north meets south. That would be a lot of fun. We do a little collab. Just aren't enough hours in the day. That's the trouble. Oh, tell me about it. Uh... <laughs> Too busy. Oh, thanks, everyone. I just quite like experimenting with mixed media on um, scrapbook layouts at the minute. It seems it's become more popular. It's very messy, but good fun. Yes, that could be the name, Steph. North meets South. <laughs> we just need to find a venue. Can you imagine if we all got together? It'd be crazy. Imagine right, the right. stuff we'd have to take. I know. Can you imagine? We'd have to turn up with a lorry. I mean, it's bad enough when we just do our Saturday crop. <laughs> it's bad enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have a mobile shop, so it's like <laughs> it's like a wagon. I think some of you saw the picture I posted on Facebook of the car that I had loaded up ready to go. It and then my car good. is considerably smaller than yours. What car have you got, Deb? I've got a Fiat Panda. Got a little Fiat Panda? <laughs> yeah. You can imagine. Debbie trying to fit all our shop stuff in, in there. Right. It's a challenge. Okay. Sorry, me adjusting my chair. <laughs> yeah, Debbie's little Fiat Panda trying to fit all the shop stuff in. I've got a cash kai, so we, we take it in turns with the shop, and you can imagine when Debbie has to come to fit it all in, it's quite funny. Right, so that's the cut file. What picture shall I? We've got, we've got the little doggy picture. I think I might go this one because of the green, um, the kind of nature grassy type thing, I reckon. That's it. Right. I might cut it down a little bit. Yeah, we'd have wine, rat, food, craft stuff. Only if you come and bring your cheese and pineapple, Retty. Yeah, so we have a Christmas crop once a year, big event. And we always have a sort of bring your own buffet. And Loretta is famous for um, the cheese and pineapple hedgehog. Anybody remember that as a classic buffet? Yeah. No buffet is complete without one. Hedgehog, that's it. Yeah, buffet, a little pineapple hedgehog. Right, so then the next bit I'm thinking about, Vicky Newton's other Fernwood collection. I've been busy, look, I've cut up this, all the hexagons. And I thought I might make a bit of a hexagon background. 
I don't do fussy cutting usually, but I thought this layout called for it. I've got my gum. Uh, so um no um so debbie they um in our crop steph they do joke that um either me or debbie are called speedy scrappers because it seems like if there's a challenge or if there's something it's like all of a sudden we've done, <laughs> we've done it and then half the time when we actually do our own twilight crop we're either chatting or we're, we're busy and then we don't get anything done Oh, no, we don't get anything done, do we? But we love it. Right, these are the hexagons from the Fernwood paper, and I thought I might play about with some of this as a background. I want some white space. It's lovely. It's got little stitching on it. Yeah, Melanie, you had... No... Loretta, I reckon the hedgehogs, when we were kids, the, the pineapple hedgehogs were the thing, weren't they? A, 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 oh, a classic, classic um, kind of 80s birthday party. You hadn't Melanie, if you didn't have a hedgehog, had you? Yeah, you know? Melanie said she always had a, hed, a hedgehog, so that's good. Wasn't just you, Retty. There's lots of random colours in this fernwood paper, but it's quite muted. I quite like it, but there's like unusual oranges and things. But I didn't think I Those wanted... Those pinks are quite funny, aren't they, to match? They are, and I might swap those out. Hmm, yeah. So this is what I'm thinking. Almost a peachy pink, aren't they? It's a really it's difficult colour. It's a bit bizarre, I think if I take some of those away and I just stick with the greens... I'm not entirely convinced on those peaches. Celery in a pint glass. <laughs> yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, the classic buffet food. Sausage rolls. We'd have a North Meat South. We'd have, you know, North Meat South classic buffet. <laughs> Oh, somebody else did that, the hedgehog, before you, Retty. Oh, I love it. Yeah, we'd, have, we'd come up with the classic 80s buffet, I'm sure. It is good fun. I reckon that might do it, possibly. I just want that to lift a bit. I don't even know if I like that. So replace it. I'm going to stick with the blues and greens. That's the beauty with cutting it out. You can just take the pieces out that you don't like. Right, I think that. It's going to do it. Corned beef slice. Yes. Oh, Melanie, volivons. My mum used to make tuna volivons. That was the thing. <laughs> yes. We were too posh to have volivons. Oh, you we were weren't posh enough. Oh, you weren't we're posh, posh volivons. Oh, posh where we live, I don't think. <laughs> volivons. Yeah. Oh, and I'll tell you one thing that we had at our Christmas crop, which is another classic, one of my favourite, deviled eggs. And some people are saying, what's deviled eggs? Judy says, yuck. Deviled eggs. You remember? And it has like, um, so it's like boiled egg cut in half and you scoop the yellow bit out and you mix it up with mayonnaise and then you pipe it back in and you sprinkle paprika on the top. Oh, I can see this um, North Meat South crop buffet being quite a feast. <laughs> Deviled eggs. Black Forest Gatto. Oh. I think we'd be a bit churned up by the time we finish, wouldn't we? It'd be a bit much. Oh, 
Oh, yes. The, the birthday cakes that were piped pictures. And, and wasn't there a supermarket that did the photographs printed? I think there still is yeah. where you can have... Or, or um, yeah, I'm so, sure I had like a Sesame Street cake. And that was all piped in tiny little pieces that made up the picture. I remember that. Good old Sesame Street. I'm going to change that piece because that's brown. Oh, yes, chicken and mushroom filling. I'm sure we used to get that from a jar as well, Michelle. Cook the volivons and scoop it in. Those were the days. Good old beige buffet. <laughs> Do you remember? No one can beat a beige buffet where it's just everything beige. Oh, and obviously not just a beige buffet because we've got um, Stephanie's pint of celery sticks. <laughs> You've got a bit of green in there. Uh, Deb, you're doing well. You're, you're, you're on a fast streak i'm needing to speed up sticking the hexagons down oh, i've got another one i could i could start if we've got time another stash busting washi tape one that's good well um we've got a list of challenges that we need to get on top of for our retreat but i must say i've not done very well seen some people ahead of the game i've started to make up some kits Oh, jelly and ice cream. Can you remember, did anybody used to make those um, ice cream where you used, to, oh, what were they called? Um, where you put the ice cream and the lemonade. Oh, oh this sounds disgusting. But... Oh, what was it called? Um, oh. Does anybody know the name of that? Or maybe it was a South thing. This is interesting when you find different people from around the globe or different parts of the UK have different things that they eat. Oh, um, oh, not an ice cream sundae. Oh, had a name. Oh, Coke float. Ooh. Coke float. That was it. But we would have ours with um, lemonade, ice cream float. Yes. Oh, God, the thought of it now makes my stomach churn. But as kids, we would love it not really my thing now ice cream float that was it oh can't think of it now but it was definitely the thing right so that's there and then i've got this is a lovely cut apart oh <laughs> retta's feeling sick already oh a trifle oh gosh you got a silk in there were those little biscuit fingers that you used to soak? Oh, I can't think of anything worse. That was bad. Yeah. There's definitely been some food over the years that uh, was in fashion then. I love some of the Facebook posts where there's like blasts from the past and if you were sort of proud of the... 70s or 80s and there's certain things that you see and you think oh those were the days yeah right i'm doing this little cut apart now i'm not entirely sure what i'm going to use i've also got these this is just look at this is the fernwood embellishment pack and it's got this little magnifying glass, which I kind of like to use. And it's got little, it's got little, so little is that a little shaker pocket? Yeah. How so cute, cute is that? I've got to use that. That's going to go on here somewhere. The others are more like tags, which I don't think I'm going to use. But then I have got lots of little wooden embellishments that I think might be quite nice because I could eat ink them. And of course I picked out a nice colour coordinating flare because I thought 
this one came in my advent calendar can you see the little sparkles i i um i saw adam's got a glittery set i think more glitter i love i know adam's like no not glitter <laughs> not loose glitter anyway not loose glitter but glittery flare mint fionetta oh yes oh my gosh oh remember arctic rolls yes arctic roll you stand back to school with the jam around the outside and school a used to do the best puddings mint fionetta oh making me hungry now <laughs> we are if we get this um if we get this crop going then this buffet is going to be we could just have a giant village hall. With really nice big tables. Big tables. I mean, um, there is a little story that obviously we've been running the crop for about 11 or 12 years now. And near the beginning, we did a big 24 hour crop for charity. We raised about £2,000 for cancer research not long after I lost my mum. And so it was a big, big event. And we crafted with with all the people from our crop for 24 hours. It was it was amazing. And um, then we had to drive home and we were so sleep deprived and so exhausted <laughs> that we could barely drive home. I don't think I should have been driving if I'd been. No, honest. it In was a brilliant sight. event. Oh, yeah. And, it was held in a school hall and we crafted literally for 24 hours, but everybody got sponsorship. Yeah. Can you remember that Loretta? Loretta was there and they had these crash mats in the school. And my sister came along as well and we had a quick nap on the crash mats. You might have Miss Bertha. <laughs> yeah. We just couldn't do it. Oh, those are quite cute. I've put these little trainer cutouts at the bottom to represent the dog walks yeah we certainly got some stories to tell from our crafting days market long crops but we raised a good amount so that was the most important thing yeah we did a we did a fish and chip run staff so we did everybody had fish and chips um lots of cakes lots of snacks yeah you <laughs> You had a beer. I don't think I did sleep. I think the crash mat came out and that was going to be the plan, but I just couldn't. I, there was too much going on. Right, I'm going to cut this bit out. I quite like this ticket paper as well. I was wondering if I could layer a few tickets possibly. Um, and definitely a few little of these lovely little flares are going to go on but definitely that little magnifying glass maybe and i might might map the photo yeah we we would love to do another even if it's a long crop because that's proper chill time What do you think? Stay curious. I could add stay curious here. Or I was going to do some of the wooden embellishments. I tend to talk to myself while I'm scrapping. Debbie, you go very quiet. You're deep in concentration. I'm just, I'm literally just talking to myself. <laughs> We've had this conversation before, though, haven't we? Yes. And everyone else talks to themselves and I don't. No, I you don't... go really quiet and I'm yeah. there chatting away to myself. Maybe stay curious. I've got the two little feet here. I'm definitely going to put the two feet here. Stick down as we go. I've learned from Adam, just stick it down. Because then I'm not the kind of person that lays it all out. And I do faff. I do a lot of faffing, that is for sure. If it's not looking right, I do a lot of faffing. But once I'm sure, I'll stick it down. Hmm. What do we think? I was going to kind of make the word puppy out of wood and then have 
puppy love. So this is our 12 year old dog and this is our new puppy. So we thought that would be a good idea. Debbie, these are actually the wooden letters that you gave me when you were clearing out your craft room. Oh, yeah. Because I don't, I don't like to not use anything. Yeah. I just, I just <laughs> thought I hadn't used them and I wouldn't go You were ruthless. Like, yeah. I don't need these. Let's get rid of these. So I like, oh, no. Don't throw them. Again, Need to go through again. Need to have another sort. Yeah. What um, do you think? Do these flowers look all right as a randomer? Or should I leave them off? I'm going to zoom in. I don't know what people feel the picture is like. Is it better to zoom in so that it's a bit closer? That's it. Move it over a little bit and then we can see. Just a few random flowers. Can you move it over a little tone bit? Tone on tone. Yeah, I love, and I like the butterflies because those are done with the sprays, are they? The yes. Dina sprays. Yeah, done with the um, sprays so they coordinate and then um, stamped and punched. Yeah, I love right, it. I'm going with the flowers then. Yeah, definitely. And I think I'm going to ink these letters in the green. I was using peeled paint, so I'm going to ink the green and then i think they're starting to come together now i've put the little shoes at the bottom little magnifying glass there and then i'm going to put some of this flare around a little bit under here and i like this one a lot of these are in my advent calendar so i'm going to add some there i like this little gold one but I might save that. It's very special. <clears throat> um, and then I'm going to have some tickets. This ticket paper is lovely. Need a green ticket. I'm going to these with the guillotine, I think. Oh, yeah, could have a flare in the middle of love. That's a good idea. Let me try that in a minute. Good suggestion, Stephanie. Oh, yeah, Julie says put some, maybe some little enamel dots in the middle of the flowers, Deb. Oh, yeah, that's good thinking. I was just wondering what to do with those. Yeah, that'd be nice. And I have some to hand. You can never have too many enamel dots. That's the one thing I will say. And actually, I sometimes find if I don't have the right colour, it's really irritating. So some in every colour is definitely worthwhile. A big selection of enamel dots are a must. Oh, that's kind of purple. Uh-oh. I mean, I have seen also some people use Sharpies and colour their enamel dots. You can. You, you know the pearl dots, the domed ones, you can colour those really easily. Yeah. And, so the, um, and if you've got plain diamonds, you can colour those as well with a Sharpie. You know, like the kind of diamond ones? Yes. They colour with a Sharpie. Yes, I I know you taught me that one, Deb, where you colour them in. I quite like the little tickets there. A little bit of flair there. Right, I'm going to start to stick this down now. Otherwise, it's all going to move all over the place. Puppy love. We were talking about these, weren't we? Few few people we were talking about what yeah. um oh yeah, the waffle flower ones. Um Steph, I think you got um JJ's rainbow ones. We got we've got a whole selection of waffle flower enamel dots. They are beautiful. Right, I'm taking the plunge. This is being stuck down. We have gone a bit mad with enamel dots in the shop because you kind of can never have enough. They are lovely. Right, I'm taking the plunge. This is why we love this giant gun. Oh, it's fantastic. Because it lasts forever. 
and the refills are cheap and, and you it can doesn't... make your own glue dots with it it's so versatile it's and it definitely awesome. doesn't fall apart which no. is what we like because we've had books that have any books all of my layouts. mini books have fallen apart layouts and i used homer homer's really expensive yeah it's supposed to be isn't it yeah so we reverted to sticking that down oh that's all right adam we've we were still going <laughs> we've been talking flare we glitter flare it, now we're on to enamel dots you've missed all the discussion about a north meat south crop and the kind of 80s style north meat south buffet we'd have we've got we've got all the plans you'll have to read back the you have to read back the comments because they are quite funny um we've been talking about volivons um yeah pineapple and cheese hedgehogs yeah i mean basically the, the we've planned the north meat south crop on <laughs> on your behalf we've got all the ideas we we're talking about a 24-hour charity crop we did which raised about two thousand pounds for macmillan and cancer research which was good yes it is we're excited about that adam we'll have to get planning it might take a little while but we'll get there i think we've got lots of people that would be up for that so i think that may be right in the middle of the oh it's probably just a bit much yes. work i think i have a green one here and a blue one maybe blue with the green and a green one down here i'm using up the advent flare adam there's so much to choose from Yeah. yeah i've got um i've got that blue one what what do you think yeah it's almost the blue on blue i think is better there or do i just keep that one here i've got i've got three or four I'll start to faff in a minute. That's the thing. That magnifying glass is lovely. It is, isn't it? And it's almost like sort of like foamy. Is it? I wish I wish they sold these on their own. That comes in the tags. That's in the tags embellishment pack, which is beautiful. But I would like to use that probably several times over. Oh, I've got that one to use, haven't I? Debbie, there's an idea we need a magnifying glass shaker pocket cup file oh i'll write it on my list right on your list seriously i have got a list it's a really big list yeah this is the thing we come up with ideas yeah i yeah. think so melanie i it kind of um it just sort of looks like it's floating in the middle doesn't it it's not really grounded so i think i'm gonna add them here it's on the list Good. Um, and in a first phase, I think I may have finished before you. Oh, no. Yeah. Because I want to put the word puppy here and I'd quite like to ink it in green. So you are doing well. I thought but we're not I'd done too badly in an hour because we've shown no. some cut files and played with the sprays and now Absolutely. not too bad. I can't. I'm no. struggling to find something green. Oh, I've got some stars I've cut out. I could use it Coming along. Quite like this too. And then I've got lots of these lovely wooden embellishments that I might add. Oh, 
are. Thanks for joining us, Loretta. Thanks, Loretta. Enjoy the TV. <laughs> yeah. And the good thing is about the lives is they save to the group and so you can watch them back and dip in and out. So sometimes they do take a little longer than we think, but that's that's the joy of scrapping, isn't it? Um, I think I might be going on to my second one. Oh, well, well done, Debbie. I'm going to be it's just... A, it's a one-off. It won't it ever is. happen again. Just if I didn't want these to take so long to dry, I might use some of the media gloss sprays, but because um, we're a bit short of time, I'm going to go... Yeah, that's why I prepped mine before, because you can't use a heat gun on them. It's like using a heat gun on plastic. Yeah, interestingly, mm -hmm. I saw some people using a heat gun on them on YouTube, but I, I was advised yeah. not to use yeah. a heat gun because they are they they're acrylic on plastic. They're acrylic sprays, but yes, I, I would imagine you shouldn't really heat them. I wouldn't risk it. No. So I did this background originally, but I think it's going to be too small for this. Oh, you've yes, got the same cut I'm using. Yeah. I've got, I've done a washi tape prep. So this is another one ready to go. But I'm thinking I'll put it on a white background. It's like Blue Peter. It's like a here's one I've made earlier. It's like Blue Peter. <laughs> <laughs> but this is actually the only thing I've got done at the crop. I washi taped my heart. <laughs> Yeah, Melanie, this is um, a new idea that we were thinking, right, we, everybody, lots of people have got lots of washi tape. What could we do? And then Debbie came up with this idea where you back the cut file, but with strips of washi. And it's good. It works with those sort of um, cut files that have got larger background pieces. I think I need a bit of a pink mixed media on the back for this one. Yeah. What, sprays or? Mm, yeah, I don't think sprays here next to my computer and scan and cut is a particular <laughs> idea. I have I'm to confess, I did some of the sprays for this up in the kitchen. And then the following day, I realised that there was some on the worktop, but luckily it kind of scratches off. Mm. But I would not have been popular, obviously. I might have been in trouble but i wanted to be near a sink where i could wash everything up right the layout's coming back i've got my green letters i'm going to stick them down this is my favorite glue it's a bit of nouveau i also like the diamond top we still haven't been able to get that have we it's still out of stock steph remind me what work on means again i know we use it in schools What, what a good one looks like. What a good one looks like. That's yeah. <laughs> Waggle. What a good one looks like. Yes. It's surprising how many um, crafters are, are linked to education. It's There must be the creativity. Absolutely. There's so many of us. Yeah. Puppy love. That's it. What a good one looks like. <laughs> I mean, quite often during the lives, I can show you what a bad one looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Is there something... one for what a car crash looks like? <laughs> yeah, we've had a few of those. I had one um, where we were using some shaker pockets, weren't we? And I said, oh, I've got some silicon glue instead of using foam tape. And as I squeezed this silicone glue on the live, the whole tube exploded <laughs> and there was this sticky glue everywhere. <laughs> Absolute chaos. Yeah. It's definitely the patient's stuff. Although I don't have a lot of patience for things like fussy cutting. It's not not so much my forte. 
um right. free postage and packing hasn't gone up to 60 pounds it's 50 it's 50. No, nope. yeah um, anything over 50, um, Julie, and we've got the 10% discount code, um, DAF10. Um, you can just enter at the checkout and that will give you a nice little discount, including cut files, physical and digital cut files and, and all the stock on the website. And we're running it until the 1st of Feb just to make sure it covers everybody. And nobody's left be. out. Nobody left behind. No. And we've got our lovely little retreat coming up as well on that, that weekend, following weekend. Just can't wait. I'm not far off finished, I promise. I'm starting to faff now. But I'm start I like these little wooden flowers here. Not stuck them down very well. A few little bits. Hmm. Does anybody else just have bags of little embellishments in here? Oh, that's yes. nice. <laughs> oh, I could think about them. it. I think I've got some green hearts somewhere, so I might add them sure, on. Oh, could have that. Little bit of bunting could mm -hmm. have could use that end up just adding a bit too much you know when it's like the more is more and the hmm. I'm gonna stop in a minute because it'll just end up what do we think probably enough Hmm. Oh yes, the brushes. Yes, and the stencils, Julie. Interestingly, those lovely Carabelle ones we tried to reorder from our stockist and they are stopping stocking it. So we're now going directly to Carabelle. Luckily, Debbie speaks really good French. <laughs> so, yes, the ones, ones we've got in stock at the moment are the only ones we can get at the minute. Um, I've sent an email in very dodgy written French and they haven't <laughs> replied yet. So oh. watch this space. I started off with an apology. <laughs> I couldn't even write an apology in French. It, it, there was an email in the inbox and it was in French. And I thought, oh, that would be for Debbie then. <laughs> uh, Parlez-vous Francais, Rodney? <laughs> Mon too, Rodney. That's about it. Oh, dear. What is it? He says something about a, um, a duck and he says it's Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, I do love that. Right, I think I've put my last little bits of wood on. I think that's probably enough here. A little bit of bunting or no bunting? Can people see that there? What do you think? And then I think it's enough because it's, I'm starting to add and add and add. Enough. Yeah. We'll zoom back out. I'll just put a little bit of this on here. A little bit of glue. Oh, I've enjoyed that. Bit of bit of ink, bit of Dina Wakely sprays, and a bit of foam wood. I can't believe I finished. Are you impressed? You finished before me, Debbie. I finished. That's because I Amazing. planned. It, and I you got did. You did. Yeah. And what did you do, Steph? I used all the same shade, just rub off on scrap paper. Oh, brilliant. So, so you got frugal February, minimalist March, and anything April. Yes. 
Oh, anything April, that's good because we're going to another crop in April. So anything April is good. Right, I think I'll zoom back out so you can see the whole layout so now we can hold them up a little bit so you can see. And I can do, look, I'll, I'll, I'll um, let you share, Debbie. There we go. Look at that. Amongst the mess. And then I can zoom in here. And there's mine finished. Oh, that's lovely. There we go. Well, thank you, everyone. Um, big thank you to Adam for inviting us to do a live scrap along on DAF. Um, just a reminder, the um, voucher code is DAF10, D-A-F-10. Um, and you enter that at the checkout for 10% off everything on the website until midnight on the 1st of February. We've put links in our post here to our Little Twilight Crafts um, Crop and Craft Facebook group and our YouTube channel. Um, so that's us done. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Thank you, everyone.